Good afternoon and welcome to the National Weather Service in Peachtree City's weekly webinar for the week starting February 15th, 2014. Here are some of the highlights for the week ahead. Mostly tranquil weather period is expected over the week. We do have a front moving through early Saturday morning with some light showers possible along that front. However, the rainfall totals associated with that front are very low and not expected to cause any problems or additional problems with the uh, already ongoing flooding. It is going to be drier and cooler, particularly Saturday afternoon through Wednesday of next week. And on the flooding side, we still have rising uh, rivers along the Mulgee and the Oconee. Uh, we're still flooding yet to go on the downstream side of those. Uh, the Flint River, however, is receding. Here is a quick overview of the flooding situation along the area rivers. Uh, we still have uh, several points in flood, particularly along the Flint, Chattahoochee, Okmulgee, and Oconee rivers. Uh, most of the rising rivers are along the Okmulgee and the Oconee, where we still have moderate flooding, either expected or ongoing, along the Okmulgee and Oconee rivers. A look at the latest drought monitor that has been issued this week when we have a downgrade across much of the area with only a very small portion of extreme northern Georgia in a D0 drought. Here's a look at the latest satellite imagery across the southeast U.S. You can see mostly clear skies at the moment, some high clouds streaming over Florida and the Florida Panhandle. We will see increasing moisture with southeast winds ahead of approaching front the next day or so. Uh, with that, we'll expect uh, clouds to increase Friday into Friday night ahead of the approaching cold front. Here's a look at the national map for tomorrow night, that is Friday night. You can see a cold front approaching across Tennessee, stretching back into Texas with much colder air coming down south out of Canada into the central United States. That front will be approaching the area and moving through late tomorrow night and into Saturday morning. Here's what the national map should look like early Saturday morning with that cold front draped across the state and the colder air beginning to filter in from the northwest. Uh, with that front situated across Georgia, we will expect a few showers uh, along and ahead of that front early Saturday morning. Here's a look at the national map for early Sunday morning with that cold front pushed all the way into South Florida. Colder air will be filtering in from the Northwest and that will begin the cooler and dry period uh, from Sunday through the middle part of next week. Here's a look at the high temperature forecast from Friday through Sunday. As you can see, beginning on Friday on the far left, temps across the area will be the warmest with temps generally in the 60s. With that front moving in and clouds early Saturday. We expect temperatures to stay in the 50s to even upper 40s across northern part of Georgia. And then Sunday will begin the slow warm up with high temperatures only getting into the lower 50s across much of the area. Moving ahead with the highs from Monday through Wednesday, you can see slow rebound from Monday through Wednesday with temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s on Monday, 60s generally area wide on Tuesday and 60s and even a few 70s starting to appear on Wednesday. This is a look at the precip chances for the next seven days for a variety of cities across north and central Georgia. You pay attention to that early Saturday morning period when that's the best chance of rain. Uh, tends to be peaking across the northern part of the state uh, with lower chances as you move south. We do expect the front to be mostly dry as it moves through Saturday with no rain in the forecast until we get into late next week, Thursday and Friday. Rainfall amounts are expected to be very light with this front moving through and are not expected to produce any hazardous conditions or flooding. Here's a look at the temperature forecast for the next seven days for a variety of cities across north and central Georgia. You can see that overnight lows will be cold a Sunday morning with some locations dropping below freezing. A gradual warm up is expected beyond Monday as shown in the graph below. This is just a preview of the period six to 10 days. So this would be from about middle of next week into the weekend. We are expecting generally a above normal chance of above normal temperatures with below normal precipitation late into next weekend. That concludes this week's weekly briefing. If you have any additional questions or concerns, by all means, reach out to us using one of the following methods located on the screen.